we're going to be finding the radius of a cylinder given the volume and its height. Here's the problem. The water tower must hold at least 1,400 cubic feet of water, but it can only be 10 feet tall. What will the radius of the water tower be? Okay. Now, I'm looking at that water tower. That looks like a cylinder. And we're dealing with volume. So I need to go get the formula. And what's the formula? V equals pi r squared times h. I like to write down the formula first thing. The other thing I like to do right off the bat is what do I know? Well, I was given that the volume is 1,400 feet cubed and that the height is 10 feet. Now notice that I can substitute those values in to my formula. Let's go ahead and do that. This is what I have now. Now I want radius. It's on the right hand side. It's being squared and also it's being multiplied by 10 and pi. So the first thing I want to do is divide both sides by 10 and pi. Notice when we do that, cancel out my pi's, cancel out my 10's. Now pi squared is left on the right hand side, we're getting there, getting it all by itself, but on the left hand side what do I have? I need to take 1400, let's put that in the calculator, and we're going to divide it by 10 pi. When you do that, what do you get? Alright, I get r squared equals 44.56 approximately. Now, I want r, I don't want r squared. How am I going to unsquare r, my radius? Well, you're right. Take the square root. When I take the square root of r squared, I get r. When I take the square root of 44.56, my answer is going to be that the radius will be approximately 6.68. Hope that helped. See you again. Bye-bye.